Hello guys, how are you doing? How are you holding up? Alright, I'm going to get you situated so I can show you how to do the Ina Garden Garlic Cheese Bread. You are not going to believe how easy this is to do. Now when I brought this bread home, one, I got it marked down, two, I cut it in half, then I cut it open. And completely forgot I did that. So I was really surprised that I opened it a couple seconds ago and found that it was already cut open. I was like, yay, go me. Had the foresight to do something like that. Alright, you're gonna need a pastry brush. Now the salt pepper is that's just a taste. Now I'm gonna show you two ways to do this. And you can cook them on the same pan. Do you want to have your brush handy? You're going to paint this on, kind of like real nice. Do a nice little layer. There we go. Oh yeah. Okay, there is nothing like this bread. We both like it, but Antonio likes it with extra mozzarella cheese. And hey, that's the way I'm doing it. Uh, the little pit of patter you're gonna hear you're hearing is Sarge. If you're new here, Sarge is our little Pomeranian. He is a CEO of Quality Control and looking insanely ridiculous because he does it so well. Yes, I've given him a bump in title. And he's quite happy with it. He's just like off to my right side. I'm going to put garlic powder. Now, if you have garlic, knock yourself out and put it on. That is totally fine with us. And he's back to the bedroom to bug the cat. His hobby is bugging the cat. They get along pretty good, which I'm absolutely thrilled with. That is too slow for me. Just kind of let the salt fall where it may. Wherever it falls on the bread is where it needs it. Where the bread needs the salt. Now here comes the fun part, parmigiana, the shaky cheese, as Jamerel Stewart calls it. Now if you can get a hold of some parmesan and be able to grate it yourself, awesome. Otherwise, the work's already done for you here. And it's a whole lot more affordable. This is the one I'm going to put the extra cheese on. Now, of course, when you go to buy cheese, you want to make sure um, that you're not going over your limit. Because as you've seen with um, yesterday's video, yeah, there's limits are being enforced again. Alright guys, I'm going to wait for the oven to heat up so I can cook this off. 
and then I will bring you back when it comes out. Alright guys, here is on the garden toast, garlic cheese bread toast, two ways, with mozzarella and without. And shame on me, I forgot to tell you to put oregano on it. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, this is good. That's and crunchy and delicious. Now, you're going to see this Monday. The video you'll see Tuesday is the upcycling of the cheesy chicken alfredo dip. Because we didn't eat it all. As a matter of fact, we decided it would be better on pasta. Rather than like it was. So, give you one last look. And there we go. I'll see you guys later.